so bright. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It has literally been so long since I last vlogged that I forgot how to use the camera, the lighting's crap, like I'm all over the place, so just bear with me. Anyways, but I'm so excited to be creating content and talking about something that I loved. To be honest, I was feeling a little like, uh, am I the right person to talk about wellness? Like people don't look at me and be like, this girl epitomizes health. But I decided that it's my channel and I'm gonna talk about what I want. And today, I'm gonna be talking about deodorant. Chemical free deodorants. It's kind of a gross subject and it took two years of really, really smelly days. Finally find the perfect chemical free deodorant, but I found it. Before I get into a comprehensive review of the six deodorants that I've selected, I want to talk to you a little bit about why certain chemicals in deodorants are so bad for you. So as you know, your armpits are a pretty sensitive area of your body. And and what happens is that whatever you put on them, it gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream without metabolizing. So anything that's in the actual product that you're using is directly given access to your bloodstream and your body, which can have really harmful effects if you're not using the right brands and you don't have the products that are clean and toxin free. I'm gonna talk about some of the chemicals that are super harmful, and then I'm gonna talk about the deodorants that I found that don't have these chemicals that are really good for you. So let's get straight into it. Now the first chemical that you'll find in a lot of your deodorants is aluminum. Aluminum is the antiperspirant quality of deodorants. So what essentially it does is it blocks your pores and it inhibits the sweat carrying the toxins to come out of your body. What that means is that if you're using a deodorant that has aluminum, it's not letting your body detoxify in a natural way and it's not letting any of the toxins and sweat come out freely. So you really wanna avoid aluminum. Now the next one, which you would have seen on a lot of beauty products, is parabens. So parabens, for a lot of reasons, are really bad for you. Essentially, what they do is they mimic what estrogen would do in the body. Now, for some of you, if you suffer from thyroid issues, hormone problems, or you have an imbalanced range of hormones, you want to steer clear of them. You also want to steer clear of parabens generally because they have been found in tumors and cancerous cells, so it's just better to avoid them as much as you can and opt for paraben-free products. Third element that I want to take you through is triclosans. Triclosans are essentially antibacterial chemicals. Now they're found in a lot of acne washes, so anything that fights acne or pimples or spot creams, and what they do is they kill bacteria. But the problem is, is that they kill both good and bad bacteria, and your skin needs the good bacteria to fight off and improve the immunity and defend itself against the bad bacteria. The fourth chemical, fourth and fifth chemical I should say that you want to really avoid are triethanolamines and diethanolamines. Now they're mouthful and they're usually known as TEA or DEA, and you really want to avoid those because studies have shown and these are studies conducted by the FDA, you can do your own research, you can find it yourself, that a lot of these um, ammonia compounds have been found in cancer cells in both animals and humans. Most of these are actually found in any rinse off products, so like cleansers and face washes, but you want to make sure they're not in your deodorants either. You also want to avoid them just because they are carcinogens and they can affect your organ functions like your liver and your kidney. Finally, and this chemical is a really hard one to shake off, is fragrance. Fragrance is found in so many products, in lotions, in, in perfumes, in shampoos, conditioners, makeup, everything. Fragrance for a lot of people is known as the new secondhand smoke. I think that's a little dramatic, but it does shed light on a little bit as to why we have to worry. These toxins can cause issues to your central nervous system, it can cause issues to your respiratory system, it will not do your eyesight any good, and it definitely won't help with your skin in terms of irritation or if you have sensitive skin. So with that being said, I want to jump into the review portion of this video. I'm really excited to finally share my findings after two years of trying and testing all these different chemical free products and finally finding the one deodorant that I can truly say actually works. I first got the idea to try chemical free deodorants for my mom. As some of you may know, she's in the last video that you would have seen in my interview with her. She's a little bit of a tree hugger. She errs on the granola side of life. And she recommended this crystal stick for me. And this is essentially just, it looks like a moonstone. It's a translucent rock. And this is literally mineral salt stick. The way that they use it is after the shower, they just kind of rub it on their underarms. And for me, this worked for about 45 minutes and then it did nothing and I was drenched in sweat all day and I didn't smell fresh and I hated the way that I felt. So I decided to give this brand another go and opt for the Crystal Essence Pomegranate one. Now this is a roll-on stick, essentially has the same thing, it has the mineral salts, it has a little bit of water and it has the uh, natural fragrance made out of essential oils. I liked it 
and like I really wanted to like it but it honestly lasted me two hours and then I felt like really like moist and wet in my underarms and it was so disgusting that I was like whatever I was done with that one so I decided to give roll-ons one last try and I opted for a brand that is a little more mainstream Vichy, Vichy, I don't know how you pronounce it, has this 48 hour antiperspirant deodorant. A lot of moms I knew used it, everybody said that it was really good, it was kind of less chemicals, it didn't feel like a normal deodorant stick, so I was like, let me try it. This one is a sensitive one, so it's fragrance free, and it boasts all these like 48 hour antiperspirant qualities. Cut to the chase, that doesn't exist. These are like okay, but... To be honest, I'm not a huge Vichy brand person, Vichy. I'm not that person, I don't use their products. So I didn't love this, and it was a little bit on the pricier side. So I wouldn't recommend it unless you're comfortable with the brand, but don't experiment and try with it, because there are a lot of other more natural, cleaner brands that have products that might work better for your skin. I will say, if you do have super sensitive skin and you suffer from something like eczema, this might be the product for you. I then decided that I absolutely had it with roll-ons. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the like ball like that rolls around and then everything just builds up. Like I don't think that's clean. I didn't like it. It, so I'm done with it. So then I chose this by Alba Botanicals. I got it in the States over the summer. This is, I don't know if you can see, but it's the tea tree enzyme. And I love the smell of tea tree. My mom would literally die if she smelled this because she's so allergic. But this one is a clear enzyme stick, so it came on really nicely. And like you could layer it, layer it, layer it, and it didn't feel like it had this like thick or like creamy texture. It was really nice. And this, I would say, works if you need a deodorant for the winter. Because if you sweat, if you lead an active lifestyle, this isn't the one for you. It's super clean, it has some baking soda, some lotion, some tea tree oil, but it didn't do the trick for me. And I would only use this in the winter if I know that I'm not gonna be outside sweating or working out. This brand is the Schmitz. This is the bergamot and lime flavor. This one came as a gift and it was highly recommended. They sell it at Whole Foods. And if you do research on chemical free deodorant, this one will show up in a lot of the results. I really wanted to love this one and I did. For the first month, I was like, I found it. This is the hands down best one to prevent sweating. You, it doesn't clog your pores and that's because of its super creamy texture. I don't know if you can see, but it's like really creamy and then it kind of like has this papery feel. I really like this one, but here's the issue. After a month and two months, I was really using this every day, sometimes twice a day if I was breaking out. I noticed my armpits were getting darker and darker and darker. And there was this like suit of like nasty, like built up residue. Mind you, I was scrubbing in the shower every day. I was showering every day, but it just really stained my armpits and your girl was walking around with black armpits for three months. Finally, I was like, I'm done, that's it. I went to the drugstore and I bought this. And I was like, this is amazing. Like nothing works better until I found this bad boy. This is the Laps Lapes Active one. This is the bergamot citrus flavor. So it actually smells a lot like the Schmitz one. But guys, this is amazing and it works. It comes on really nicely. It is a nice creamy feel to it. It actually lasted 24 hours and it really, really, really works. If you have an active lifestyle, if you're a little on the sweaty side and you really want a chemical free deodorant, the Laps Active in Bergamot Citrus is the one. It comes in other flavors. I know that there was a smooth one and I think there was one that was for sensitive skin that was a lavender flavor, but this works, so you need it. You need to go out and get this one if you are interested in switching from something that is full of toxins and carcinogens to something that is clean and smelling nice and just a stellar performer. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you liked it, please give it a like, share it, comment. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. If you want more content like this, if you didn't love it, let me know why. And I hope that I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye!